Delivery. Oh, hey! I'll come and let you in. Good evening, sir. Coming out of the cold. We is welcome to the armory. Yep, yeah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is a boys' club. It has been a boys' club for quite a while. All we talk about is pussy and guitars and uh, pussy and guitars. Ah! The first record you sort of learn how it works. Second record you got to do it in between tours. The schedules are so tight that you got to get in there record and then like off again. So then the third one, you know how the process works. You got the time, so you get you make sure you get it right. You know? Loading all the gear up these stairs is always a little bit tricky. Works the arms out, you know. Except for the man on the really weird horse. Um, oh yeah, we've got the fireplace. And you know, it's always good. You're coming in out of the cold. Oh, it's a bit cold out there. A bit cold out there. Refreshing Coca-Cola by the fire. Yeah. Uh, and we've also got some records on the wall. Uh, look over here, we've got you know, Aerosmith. One, two, three. It's respect, you know what I mean? Like, it's a real respect thing, you know? And seeing Bruce's name around everywhere, you know, this is the, the house, you know, the house of rock. And this is Aerosmith's next door as well. And that's also another little Aerosmith one that I guess wasn't completed. So that's all what a progress chart is. And like, so basically when you get something done, I mean, there's the In Excess one. And there's uh, Razor's Edge. You can see Razor's Edge here. So you'll see like, you know, when they've got something done, they'll put something there. So Malcolm's all soccer balls. You know, he's a big soccer fan. So he'll put those there when he's done his part. And, you know, it's, it's sort of a thing that it's how you keep track of what you're doing. Because you tend to lose your mind in studios. We've pretty much been working flat out uh, for three months straight, no weekends, 24-7, uh, and we got about 48 hours to go. Um, we, I think we did, in, in LA, we did 63 days just straight, so that was, that was good, doing that. Wasn't it, Brian? That was good? 63 in a row, baby. Yeah. We partied one night, floated around, yep. eating my pool up to hot tub level, got wasted, and was ACDC all night. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> that was We're, our only relief. Yeah, it was ACDC and Iron Maiden and, and, yeah, the, and the Angels. Okay, let's go. Brian's great. He's always got, um, you know, a million ideas and he has... Um, he knows when it feels right. He has this uncanny ability just to feel it. Brian's very passionate about, you know, he grew up when music in the 80s and early 80s and stuff like that was, was rock and roll. Like the last 20 years in rock and roll, unless it's been a band like Iron Maiden or Motorhead, hasn't been a lot of rock and roll going on, you know what I mean? It's, so to find someone who understands that and you know is all about that, that's great. You know? This is sort of this is the the serious part of you know the rock and roll sort of thing, and then and then you know you go on the road. That's the fun time. You get to play ourselves. Got the keg machine on the bus, and just <laughs> oh man, like it's, there's been no doubt in making this. The energy's just felt right the whole time. Yeah, it's been fun. And it's just a rocking album, you know, it's just, I just can't wait to get out and play. Mm. Everyone's worked hard. And you'll hear it. You will hear it so on this record. Just, we didn't even have Christmas and New Year's, and we just No, yeah. We just yeah, Christmas and New Year's, it's just, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's just work. I mean, it's like... In the 72 hours. Christmas present will be the album done. Sure, we have one set of speakers. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call them both. Yeah. Joel has become the very first person to epically, during a solo, blow a tweeter out of those speakers. We're talking 20 years worth of loud music going through those speakers, and he was yeah. the first. <laughs> I can absolutely love this place. This studio is um, the vibe here. When you walk in, you know, you just you set everything up. Look, we had all the gear in here, and we're just setting up, rocking out, and it's one of those things where you just you just can't. 
it's 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 this place. It has a certain energy to it. You just you just tap into it. You know, like we blew a speaker before. You know, like it's um it's it's I don't know. It's it's really hard to explain. You just have to come here and track, and then you go, yeah, I know what he means. It's just it's a real rock and roll studio, and uh, there's very few of these places left in the world that still have this. Uh, you know, heritage to them and the caliber of bands that have come through here, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. But piano stuff, if we knew how to play piano, but I mean, no, yeah, we don't know how to play the piano. Joel, are you ready to rock? That's the voice that just comes out of anywhere. No one knows where that comes from. The rock is among us. Did you hear that? Wow. That's, where does it, Siri? We better get out of here. Someone, I'm, I'm being summoned. This is the armory. I gotta get back to work. It's been lovely. Enjoy the time. We'll see you soon. Your uh, requirements, Commander. Thank you.